Um, okay, so we're going to kick off today looking at uh, noradrenaline. And I thought I'd kind of uh, draw my way through uh, what noradrenaline does because uh, these diagrams, while eventually they will become part and parcel of your um, life, <laughs> don't exactly explain a lot. So um, noradrenaline um, acts on the sympathetic nervous system firstly, right? And what does it do in the sympathetic nervous system? Well, first of all, um, it's going to dilate your pupils, right? Um, and why would that be necessary in a sympathetic response? Um, because we want to take in more information visually and more light so that we can, you know, uh, navigate in our in our mad rush to get away. Um, also dilates the, the bronchiole in the lungs, and we'll come back to that later when we look at, um, you know, drugs that um, stimulate um, noradrenaline or, or simulate it. Um, so the bronchioli also dilate so that we have more air, air to run away or fight, as it were. Um, so all of this is happening either up here or also in the peripheral nervous system. So we'll take a look at what's happening in the central nervous system in neurons first, right? So here's our... Uh, pretty awful looking neuron um, and this is a, neuro, uh, this is a, um, a, a, a dopamine um, or noradrenaline neuron and uh, it synthesizes um, noradrenaline in the following way. So you start off and we've got tyrosine out here. Um, so uh, tyrosine is taken up into the neuron um, And due to the action of dope or tyrosine hydroxylase, we get dopa. Right? So that's the first step, right? Now dopa is synthesized into dopamine by guess what? Um dopa decarboxylase. And while these names, um, you know, uh, are <laughs> confused at first, they do become second nature. Um, and finally, we have Na, right? Right, which is uh, dopamine, uh, in beta hydroxylase. So, as you can see, you've got dopamine in the neuron uh, and dopa, right? So dopa is a precursor, right? So you need dopa to make dop um, dopamine. Um, and of course, there are other neurons which just make dopamine. So, uh, but this neuron in particular makes noradrenaline, but it makes it from dopamine, right? So it's the next step, okay? So this is what we call a presynaptic neuron. So here's your synapse here, it's this gap here, and we've got another neuron, well, in reality we've got many, many different, right, um, across this gap, and they're all waiting for this to be, for noradrenaline to be released, so that it can activate one of these. So how does that happen, how does the release happen? Well. Going back up to this, an action potential is triggered, and you could think of it coming down along here, right? Um, and it causes um, calcium channels to open. So in comes calcium, right? Uh, which triggers the release of Na from these vesicles. We call these little pouches, vesicles. So Na heads over to here, opens and is released into the synapse, right? Um, where it can maybe grab onto one of these because it fits directly into these little holes or go somewhere else and do something else. So 
Um, after the depolarization of the cell, NA is released, right? Um, now, uh, one of the little things that you might um, want to know is, um, <laughs> sorry, are the uh, the two main types of receptors over here, right? So we've got alpha. And we'll say we'll make this one a bit bigger and we'll make this one a beta adrenal receptor, right? And beta has um, one, two, and three. So that's one, two, three. And the alpha only has two types of, um, you know, different ones. So that's alpha one and alpha two subunit. And you'll find that these are expressed di in different areas throughout the brain and the body and that they have different effects. Um, now, we could go off on a little tangent and look at these. So, beta. Now, um, I like to think of uh, beta in three ways. So you've got beta 1, because you've only got one heart to give to somebody. Um, uh, beta 2, right, and if you think of my rather poor picture of a very wide set of lungs, you have two lungs if you're particularly if you're good to yourself. Um, so beta 2. Um, beta 3, um, not as uh, heavily expressed, but um, um, are involved with liposis. Okay, so, but these are your big two. So beta 1, you only have one heart, and beta 2 on the lungs. Right? Now, uh, alpha 1 and alpha 2 um, are expressed in lots of different places. So if we go to, if we go to one of the better drawings, right? Um, now, uh, right, so, um, alpha 1 via GQ and alpha 2 via GI, right? So we've got alpha 1 over here and that's a, a GQ and alpha 2 and that's a GI and that's just different kinds of G coupled receptors, right? So as you can see from this you've got alpha 2 which is involved with um, uh, vascular um, uh, constriction so that causes think about it when you're nervous or excited um, you know and you have to run away your blood pressure goes up and that's caused by the constriction of blood vessels and um, you know your skin flushes right so that's also the the um, the action of um, alpha 1 receptors alpha 2 receptors right uh, work on vascular smooth muscle right so if we are alpha, alpha 2 yeah so if we think of alpha 2 back here so vascular smooth muscle so what do we want we want our heart pumping right so noradrenaline hits the heart and it gets it all you know working pretty hard right um okay so right Back to our first drawing. So, what have we learned so far? We've learned that tyrosine is taken into the presynaptic neuron, where um, tyrosine hydroxylase uh, makes dopa of it, right? Um, dopa, this vesicle full of dopa, right, is acted on by dopa decarboxylase, which makes it into um, dopamine, right? And dopamine is then acted on by dopa B hydroxylase um, and makes it into noradrenaline, right? Um, and action potential is triggered somewhere up, you know, at the head of this neuron, right? Um, and travels down on the length of it, okay? Um, channels open, and um, the, the uh, you know, the neuron becomes depolarized by the entry of calcium, right? And this encourages these... Um, these vesicles to move to the cell membrane and release. So they release NA, noradrenaline, right? And it can be taken or it can act 
on two different types of um, receptors, right? So we've got alpha and beta, right? So alpha has one, alpha has two different, you know, little um, types of receptors for this, and beta, beta has three. So the beta are beta one, because you've one heart, beta two for two lungs. And beta 3, which isn't as heavily expressed, and you won't have to worry about hopefully as much, um, is involved in liposis. Um, um, and back to this one, we've got um, alpha 1 and 2. So alpha 1, um, like we said, was involved with um, uh, capillary constriction. So we want, so there's our, there's our blood vessel. And it's constricted, which sends our blood pressure sky high, right? Okay. And um, think about you know the flushed face, right? You know the you know, and um, the um, alpha two um, subunits. Um, these uh, control vascular smooth muscle, which cause the heart to contract and um, you know pump harder. Um, so, as you can probably start to make out, a um, lot of action the, in in uh, with noradrenaline, probably not what we want happening all the time in our body. Okay.